standard one of the national standards for physical education says that students must demonstrate competency in motor skills and movement patterns needed to perform a variety of activities. Well, in order to develop those competencies, students with physical disabilities who utilize wheelchairs for mobility must be taught how to properly move the wheelchairs. And it starts with hand position. And there's a difference between moving your wheelchair for everyday use just to get from point A to point B and moving your wheelchair for sport and physical activity. When you look at mobility on an everyday scale, you simply want to use your push rims to move the wheelchair. Brian, Christina, just go ahead and demonstrate a good grip on your push rims. And you can move back and forth easily. But when you talk about sport and physical activity, generally you're talking about something that's going to induce you to sweat a little bit. And we want to make sure that we have a good grip on our wheels and we're just not using a slippery metal push rim. So for sport and physical activity, we want to alter our hand position on our wheels a little bit. And we actually want to put our thumb pads on the tires, as you can see Brian and Christina doing. What you can do then is wrap your fingers around your push rim and pull your hand into the tire, giving you a much better grip on a rubber surface, surface rather than a metal surface. Once you have that initial hand position, you want to make sure that your hands are located on the wheels correctly. In order to start a push, generally you want to have your hands either the 12 o'clock position or depending on the person, possibly an 11 o'clock position, as demonstrated by Christina moving it back. It's going to be different for each person. It all depends on what's most comfortable for that individual student. In terms of pushing the wheelchair, what you want to do is have an arm motion going from that 11 or 12 o'clock position down to the 3 o'clock position. Now that we have a proper hand position, we want to make sure that we have a good push. And we're going to push from that 12 o'clock position down to that 3 o'clock position. And we want your students to use as much of their trunk as they have available to them in their push to generate that power. And here you can see hands at 12 down to 3. Brian's getting his trunk involved. Christina has a little less trunk movement, so she's doing as much as she can.